Hello and welcome to this week's Carrie Connects. I am psychic medium Carrie Muggs and each week I pull a card from a deck and let you know what's coming up for the week and the signs and symbols to watch for. So this week we're using Wisdom of the Hidden Realms by Colette Baron reed She actually, this is actually a picture of her on there so that's kind of cool. They've got this awesome like arch on each back of the card and they're beautiful, beautiful pictures. So so those of you listening on my podcast, on Spiky Spirit Co Podcast, you can find these pictures on my Instagram account tonight um, and some of the signs and symbols to watch for. So let's get started. <sighs> the Camel Boy. <laughs> this is actually a really cool card. It sounds kind of weird, but it's kind of, it's cool. So this one is Take Small Steps and ask for help. So this week, last week was like, go for it, rhino stuff, charge, and this week is, that might have been, if that was a little overwhelming for you, this week is to take small steps. Now, you've heard this time and time again. You don't, you can't eat the whole elephant. You gotta do it little bits at a time. So sometimes you look at the big picture and you get a little overwhelmed. So you gotta do little tiny things at a time. And those little tiny things, staying consistent, will help you reach the bigger picture. So this week, stay, don't get overwhelmed. If, you, if you're finding yourself get overwhelmed, just step back and make smaller, smaller steps. Take smaller, smaller steps. And if you need to, a lot of times, I have struggled with this too, asking for help. If you need help this week or you're feeling overwhelmed, I just kind of have a feeling that this week you might feel a little overwhelmed or you might, you might feel like there's a lot to do or you might feel like you're never going to get ahead or you're never going to get there. And especially if you just charged last week, because I know sometimes I do that out the gate of the first of the year, I'm just like do, 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 do. And then by this time of the year, I'm exhausted. So um, in fact, this week I have off and last weekend I was in Island Park. So because I needed to rest because I just went and did, 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 did. And so this week you just need to not be overwhelmed. Take a little bit, a little bit of a little bit at a time. Give yourself some grace. You mamas out there that, you know, get a little overwhelmed with the kids. Take a step back and know that you're doing the best you can. If you're having business issues or trying to start a business and you think there's too much and you've bit off more than you can chew, step back and just take a little bit at a time. If there's a relationship that you're like feeling a little overwhelmed in and or you want it to proceed faster than it is or you want it to slow down, just take a step back and just do little steps at a time and give yourself some grace and know that you're doing your best. So, and ask for help. If you can't, it, it, there's nothing wrong with asking for help, nothing. Um, when you ask for help, ask that person if they have capacity to help you. If they don't, find somebody else. And don't be offended if they say no, because it's been a crazy, crazy, it's kind of a crazy time. And sometimes when you're feeling overwhelmed and you go and ask somebody to help you, sometimes they're at capacity and they can't help very well. So you want somebody who has the capacity to help you this week. Um, this could be like asking, you know, help in the relationship, asking help with the business, in your job, in anything, anything that you're that you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with or that you feel like there's too much of or you feel like it's too big or too much of a big elephant, ask for help. So the signs and symbols to watch for this week to let you know. Now when you see these signs and symbols, this is spirit telling you, take a step back take smaller steps, ask for help. This is your reminder. So these signs and symbols are gonna be your reminder to do these things, okay? So camels, obviously, camels. And there's a little boy riding. So I'm not gonna say a little boy is a sign, but this is a little kind of, he has elf ears. So any kind of elf or fairy I think will be, okay? And let's make it a male, male fairy. Those are hard to find. So um, also too, in the background, there's a little butterfly or fairy type. And the number on this card is 3-3. Three, three. So 3-3-3 three, three, three is your ancestors are with you and guiding you and directing you. So know that you're not doing this alone. Know that you are loved. Know that they are watching over you and guiding you. So I think that, and there are some mountains in the back, but in the back, in the back scenery of this picture, um, just be really like, I mean, I guess you don't, if it depends on where you live, you don't see a lot of mountains. So if you do see mountains, just know it's actually a good symbolic picture 
because just know that climbing the mountain is just one step at a time, one step at a time. And I'm sure there's a really awesome camel story to put with this too about one step at a time, but I don't know any because I don't know a lot about camels, but I do have a, um, there are some cool camels around like we actually do have camels where i live in idaho falls and i just found that a, a couple weeks ago so so you never know you might see a camel and you know what the week we did a white buffalo and the re week we did a rhino so many people saw these things so just watch for a camel this week and know that you're doing your best and don't get overwhelmed don't take too much on at a time just take baby steps little steps and don't don't feel bad if you have to ask for help because we all do so love you guys so much and I will see you next week.